Hi everyone, I am Kostup Sharma, EWS Certified Solution Architect and Developer, Yon Multi Cloud DevOps Guy. Thanks for all your response and support on the previous video. If you haven't checked out my previous videos in which we have learned the journey of how IT developed to the present era with the examples of monolith to microservices. We have talked about containers, docker, Kubernetes, Kubernetes cluster and nodes and all. So if you haven't checked that out, please go out and check that test. So in this video, we are going to create a free AWS account which you can use for learning or to prepare for the cloud and DevOps interview. You want to try things practically like how to provision your Kubernetes cluster. So without any further ado, let's get started. So let's start by searching for AWS free tier account. And uh, you can go to this link aws.amazon.com slash free. So this URL will divert you to the AWS free tier account. And uh, here you can see different type of services offered by AWS. Some are free trials means uh, these are the short term services which start from the date you started that particular services. So from the date you activated that services, it will start costing you from that date. And uh, most of the services are 12 months free services, which comes under this category. And there are some services which are always free, either you are in basic plan, developer plan and uh, services. So these services are always free services from AWS. You can also explore the services using their type like compute, database services, storage services and all. And down below you can see uh, there are different services limits are given just like here in the AWS Amazon EC2 has the limit of 750 hours per month uh, and it's a 12 month free services as you can see. And there is another service Amazon S3 which is a storage type of service and it's also come under the free tier and it has the limit of 5 GB and it's a 12 month free service. So here you can explore different different services and their limits before going through this video. So I suggest you go through all these limits so you don't have to pay an extra cent. Let's quickly start by clicking on this button create a free account. So here you can see they are asking for the root user email address. So you have to provide the main email address you are using for this account. So let me put my email address. So you have to make sure that this email address is very secure. And also we have to put the AWS account name. So you can put whatever you want to put. And just click on verify email address. So now they are asking for the verification of the email address. So let's go to our email inbox. So you can see I have received the mail from AWS and there is a verification code. So just copy this and paste it here and just click on verify. So it has been successfully verified. My email address got successfully verified. And now they are asking for the root user password. So make sure to secure all these and put a very complex password which consists of uppercase letters, lowercase letters, numbers and non-alphanumeric characters. So make sure to make it very complex. So let me start putting it. Enter it again. and click on this continue button. Now they are asking for the contact information. How do you plan to use for AWS business purposes or personal purposes? So they can suggest you according to that. So I am using it for the personal purpose only. So let me suggest for personal for your own project. And they are asking for the full name, phone number, country and address. So let's put all that contact details here. And also check this box off, read the agreement button. And if you want to read that agreement, you can just go here and just read it. And then click on continue. So now they are asking for the billing information. So you can put any major bank, credit card or debit card. 
it accept any visa and mastercard generally used in india so you can put that after you have put all the details regarding your debit card or credit card then they are asking for do you have any pan card so according to you you can put yes and no and uh, you can provide it later as well the details regarding this now click on verify and continue so we have completed the three steps till now and this will divert it to you your bank site so in i am in india so it will cost me 2 indian rupees and but it can cost up to 1 dollars to you based on the country in which you are right and uh, after just confirming the otp and bank details you it will be divert back to you to again to the aws page so now it's asking for the verification of mobile so you can see the how you want to verify it by text message or sms or by voice call so let's start entering our country code then mobile number enter the captcha and just click on send sms so i have received the verification code on my phone let me quickly enter it here and click on continue in the earlier step they have asked for what purposes you want to use it so now they have offered uh, me different different plans according to that first one is basic support which is a free plan and which mostly we use for learning purposes and it is recommended for new users who are starting with the aws which we are going to use in this tutorial then there is another plan which is of 29 dollars per month which is for the developer who wants to experiment and they also provide the support for this so i don't suggest you anyone to go with this and there is the business support plans which provide one hour response time and 24 by 7 tech support and it costs you 100 dollars per month which is used by the small scale companies and there is also an enterprise level support plan which costs you $15,000 per month and it will give you 15 minutes response time and also they have assigned you an manager to it so who is dedicatedly looking for your problem so we will going to select the basic support plan and also you can change your plan anytime afterwards as well so just click on this and just click on this complete sign up button so now we are on the congratulation page which is saying thank you for sign up for aws we are activating your account which should only take a few minutes you will receive an mail when this is complete so we will receive an mail when uh, this is completed it will take several minutes until then you can visit the aws management console so let's click on this go to the aws management console button so now they are asking some details for the personalization so my role is so let me select my role and i am interested in i am interested in devops and click on submit they are saying they are activating your account and it will take only few minutes so till then you can start clicking on this sign into the console it is almost immediately for us so you can start signing in you are able to sign in so we are signing as a root user because we have created that only we haven't created im user till now which we are going to create in the next tutorial so then click on this root user mail address enter that enter your password click on sign in and here we are on the main screen of the aws management console page and uh, we have also received a mail from the aws that it has got created and for the next 12 months you have free access to this compute storage and basic all the basic cloud services so let's go to our home screen you can see they have redesigned the aws console home page so earlier it is going to be different if you want to go to the earlier layout then you can click on this reset to default layout button i will stick to the newer one because this is the best you can get from the aws and you can see there are different sections like recently visited section where you can see all the recently visited services 
so you can see there and there is a section where you can see what is your on your screen what is console home how you can customize it so you can see all details here and there are different links available in the welcome to aws section so you can search it for that so that's all in this video see you in the next video